Hello, what's up everybody? My name is Kia and here is the Kimo. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this timer inside the Figma using variables and advanced per tapping, such as conditional per tapping and expression writing. So get sure to watch this video until the end. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, watch the other videos as well. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'm going to make a frame and then increase the corner radius until I have completely smooth corners. And then I'm going to change the background color to something darker and then I add a bit details to my timer and then I'm gonna add three text layer using the text tool into my design the first text field is going to show the seconds the second one is going to show the minutes and the other one is going to show the hours I also use the digital number phone family for this text fields in order to make more digital looking feel and then I group these text layers together and apply the auto layout on them. And then I add top and bottom and then left and right margin to the frame and increase the side margin a bit more to have a fixed width. Now it's time to create the analog handle of the timer. I just simply use the arrow shape and then change the color to the linear gradient. Now I'm gonna make a square shape and then group this square shape with the arrow that I made and then increase the transparency of the square shape that we made until we have complete transparency. I'm using this trick to set the rotating anchor point in the center of the arrow. Okay, now I'm gonna use the prototyping tool to create the animation of the uh, timer handle or the timer arrow. First, I'm gonna duplicate the screen frame that we made before. Now I'm gonna delete all the other layers beside the arrow that we have. Now I'm gonna convert this frame to a component. Add a new variant for this component. In this variant, I'm gonna rotate the arrow just a little bit less than 180 degree. And then I make a new variant. And in this variant, I rotate the arrow fully up. Now I open the prototyping tool and then select the first variant and connect it to the second one. I set the trigger of this transition to after delay and then the delay time less than one millisecond, almost zero. And then type of transition change to the variant that I want to change to to variant two. And then I'm gonna use the smart animation for this purpose. Then I increase the period of the time that this animation is going to be played to the maximum amount, which is 10 seconds. So I select the second variant and then connect it to the last one. And then I set the same prototyping setting for this transition. And at the end, I select the last variant and connect it to the first variant. And then I set the same uh, setting again. But here, instead of having a smart animation, I choose to have instant transition, which means when the arrow rotates fully, then it will automatically get back to the first position or initial position and start to rotate again. Now I get back again to our design and then from the asset panel, I make an instance of the arrow component that we made and add it into our design. And then I play the preview of my prototype. And here you see that the arrow is rotating 360 degree and working in the way that I would like to have in my timer. Okay, the next step, I'm gonna work on the digital display of my timer. I'm gonna duplicate the frame that we already have in the design. In this step, I have to make three different three variables. So I open up the variable panel. I have to just uh, click uh, somewhere in the empty space of my canvas and then click here next to the local variable on this uh, filter or setting icon panel. I can create a new variable by clicking here uh, and the create a variable. I create my three variables. The first variable is going to be for my seconds and the second one is going to be for the minutes and the last one is going to store the amount for the hour. Now I have to only connect this variable to the text uh, layers that I already have in the design. The one in the right side, I connect it to the uh, second variable. One in the middle, I'm going to connect it to minutes and the last one I'm gonna connect it to our variable. Now it's time for working on the prototype. I go to the prototype panel and create my first interaction. I set the trigger of the interaction after delay and then set the delay duration to one millisecond. Then I add a conditional prototype here and write down is this expression. If the second variable has the value less than 60 then set the variable second to second plus one. And if else, set the variable minute to minute plus one, and then set the value of the variable of second to zero. So basically here, I'm just saying, if the value of the second is not 60 second yet, we just add to the second value one by one. And when the value of the second variable reach to the 60 second, then we add one 
to the variable minute. So our minute will change to one. I'm creating the logic of the timer here. Now we need to make a loop to kind of create the timer itself. Because if I run the prototype right now, only I will see that the first digit is going to change to the one and then it will stay here. It will uh, kind of uh, stop there. So I have to make this condition into the loop that it work uh, continuously. So to create the loop, first I need to create the second variant for this component. And then I'm gonna go back again to the uh, prototype or transition that we made for the first variant. And then I'm gonna add a new transition here and then say, after we increase the second variable by one, then we want to change this component or this variant of this component to second variant. I also add this transition to the second part of my conditional. And then I select the second variant and I do the same process. Now I'm going to run the prototype and you can see that the timer, the digital one is working well. Now I realized that I made a mistake here and I didn't kind of set the right timing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the prototype panel again and open the setting for the transition. Here I change the delay time of the uh, transition to one second. Now again, I run the prototype and you can see the timer is working based on the logic that we kind of wanted to have. Now I realize that uh, arrow speed is not prop. I would like that the arrow rotate fully in uh, 360 degree in every one minute. So as I said, I realized that the maximum uh, amount for the animation uh, duration is just 10 seconds. So what I have to do is I need to break down the uh, animation of the arrow to every 10 seconds. So basically I need to make more variants and then move the arrow in each variant 10 seconds further. The rest of the prototyping setting should stay the same. Again, I run the preview and you will see that everything works in the way that we expected. So I hope you learned something new in this video. And if it was so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave a comment for me. And let me know your feedback and opinions and questions in the comment section. Let's learn together and see you in the next video.